My first guest tonight is an Oscar-winning movie star. His latest film, Three Days to Kill, is in theaters on Friday. Take it. Oh, yes, it's Kevin Costner, everybody. Looking like, can may I touch your? Uh... Wow, Perfect. is that? Perfect. What a good start to this whole thing. I mean, we're already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can keep going. <laughs> now, what we do in my country is now you touch my leg. That's all. Uh, yeah, that's a good. Yeah, what we do in my country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good around the corner. How are you doing? This, uh, this is a, this is a, a, a return to the action violence uh, gun movie, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. I've, I've, you know, I've kind of made my living making all kinds of movies, and I, I like that. I mean, I, I think one of the nicest things for me is when people do come up and say a movie that they like, it, I never know what's going to come out of their mouth. And I'm kind of glad that my uh, career didn't drill down to a certain movie. No, I mean, you've made, like, some of the most, like, significant... And I think my own, like, love of movies, like Untouchables, Field of Dreams, I mean, uh, like, Dances with Wolves. These are, like, huge movies. To have one of those in a career, it would be spectacular. To even work with Sean Connery once, for yeah. God's sakes. I, you know, I'll, I'll say this. I've People ask you about, you know, the, the best actor you've ever worked with, the blah, blah blah, blah, and, and, uh, and, I, and I say this, and it eliminates actors in a way which you never really want to do, and I've always said that I thought Gene Hackman was the, uh, the, 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 the strongest actor I've ever worked with, but I felt that um, Sean Connery was the biggest star that I ever worked with, and that doesn't diminish how great an actor he was, right. but he, he, when he walked around, there was no bigger star than Sean Connery. You know, when I, when I, I did a, a thing, they were having a, a thing for him in Hollywood, like a, kind of a night where yeah. you, know, you pay a tribute to him, and that's the night I met him. And I was with my fiance at the time, who's now my wife, and he, Sean must have been about 73, 74 yeah. at the time. And he came over and, and he kind of he said, he's Sean Connery. So he said, I introduced him to my wife, Megan, and he went, hello, Megan, nice to meet you. Oh. And she blushed from yeah. her breasts all the way up. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Exactly. She was like, it's Sean Connery. The biggest star. Biggest star in the world. Women go crazy for this guy. And he was such a fair, he's such a fair man. I, I remember at one point, that he thought something was, was you know, when he lived out of the country, if, if he does too much work, he loses a lot of money in taxes. And Sean watched his money very, very carefully. But when he took that job, he was really careful with the producer saying, okay, look, I, I have to be out at a certain time. He was very careful about that. And they got lazy about it. And it, it really put him in a spot. And I remember I caught him in the bar one night, and he said, Mr. Nash, come over here. I see. I knew yeah. you would do it. Well, he does. He, he, and he did. But you come, just like, you know, mm -hmm. he says something like that. You're going to trot over there. And he had a list of things. That he wanted me to look at that list and say, do you remember this happening? Do you remember this happening? Do you remember this happening? And what it said to me was he was going to tear somebody's head off. But he wanted to be really sure that he was fair, and then he was going to go t tear this person's head off. And I, I, just, I just thought of, he's a very fair man. Yeah, and, and a brutal, frightening man as well, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come here, Mr. Nash. <laughs> yeah. I just want to check that. Did you ever, did you ever play golf with him? Uh, I did once. I, and and uh, I don't know, just, just being with him. Uh, I mean, he loved the game for a long time. I got introduced to it through 10 Cup. Really, uh, before that, I might have maybe played once a year with the father-in-law, and you know, you know. But see, he he loved it so much, and just being with that guy was um, it's crazy. I've had a lot of good things happen to me. He was one of the really one of yeah, the really no, best. He uh, he was like you know everybody in Scotland. He's like an icon in Scotland. Yeah. Like a yeah, and and I never played golf at all until I was 50 years old. Right. I'm 51, and I, I my rebellion as as a kid was to not play golf. Right. Everyone's like doing Sean Connery and playing golf, <laughs> and. And so I started doing it, and I'm like, I've wasted half my life yeah. not playing golf. Yeah. Are you into it now? I think you can waste half your life playing golf. Playing golf, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just takes. Yeah. It just takes so long. Sure. You play, you go out, the sun goes away, and your life's ruined. Yeah. See, the thing that you do is like you're not just acting, but you you, you direct the movies, right? When you go back to 
acting and not directing movies. Is it, you get, do you lose your temper? Are you very short-tempered with directors and stuff? No, I, I, I say that when you direct, it seems like the questions never end and they, just, they never stop. And I'm really grateful to be directed. You know, I, I don't want to be put in a corner where I go, this doesn't exactly feel right. I'll let them know that it doesn't feel right. But I, I, I like... I like acting for directors. I played a lot of sports. I always like playing for a coach. Right. I like the idea of, of getting it right. What about like in Dances with Wolves when you see your bare ass, you're like, I'm going to put my bare ass in the scene now? Yeah. Or like, maybe we could use that ass guy yeah. to use the bare ass. I didn't have enough money to get some, to pay somebody to do it. So, you know, um, it you, you got money now. Yeah, I got money now. <laughs> yeah. But I, yeah, you read that in the script and you think, hmm. But I swear, I swear when anything that's odd, like nudity or love, there's, that comes with the business. But anytime something like that is written perfectly into a movie right the embarrassment of it goes away because it's so when people start to just take their shirt off to take it off when people just oh, it's having a, oh i've a been scene. a few nights like that yeah. Yeah, yeah but what about like when you're the director of the movie yeah exactly yeah yeah you're not talking are you no no not about I'm that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, the, uh, <laughs> but when you're directing a movie, you're in charge of it. Like, that's your ship. You're captain yeah. of the ship. So you're walking about with your junk hanging out, saying, all right, you guys, everybody over there, shoot my ass properly and light it better. Well, I, it's, it's true. And I had to actually tell my, my parents, because my, my parents um, followed me like, they saw all my Little League games and everything, and when I went out to direct a movie, they bought a trailer and took it out to South Dakota. And they go, we won't be in your way, we'll just be on a hill over here, and we'll watch you. And it was like, I'm a grown man. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I would, um, I would look up on the hill in the morning, and they had two lawn chairs and, and, a, and a motor home, and I'd go to work with all the guys, and I'd, have, I'd see my mom wave at me, and I'd go... <laughs> to my mom, and they, it was... You know, on some end, you can be embarrassed by that, and on another way, you can go, man, I had parents that, you know, that's really... That's fantastic, yeah, it was, I think. it was. And that's, that's really good. Yeah, Mom, you got to get over the other hill. You're in the shot. <laughs> I, I, did a, I was doing a movie once, and my parents came to visit, and they saw the set up, and they said, this is really wonderful, son. Someone should take a photograph. <laughs> and I'm like, this is all so that we yeah. can get a photograph. It's yeah. the whole thing is about putting it on the camera. You can do a lot of things. I've never told this story. In, in Dancers with Wolves, when I'm actually riding, to kind of give up my, my life, and I kind of do that Catholic thing. And, uh, and then the, the soldier who's about to shoot me gets sh shot in the forehead. I, he does that, and I cut back, and it was my father with the gun. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I said, you want to be in the movie? You want to save me? And he said, yeah. And um, That's it, a fantastic story. Yeah, there's a little things that you can throw, uh, throw people into. You know, in fact, though, I'm not even going to say that. So it, it, does, it goes nowhere. Wait, 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 wait. No, it, let, let, let me stop. Have you ever seen this show before? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the monologue? <laughs> this is where we go. No, so, you're yeah. in the road to yeah. nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with <laughs> Kevin Costner. I got him. Big movie star for a long time now, right? Agreed. Yeah. Are you in? A, <laughs> are you in therapy at all? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Well, now is perhaps the time. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right then. So, Kevin, I see you're wearing uh, a hide trouser. Uh, what are you trying to hide in your trousers? <laughs> <laughs> would you have, Would you ever? Would you ever get therapy? Are you? Yeah, are you kind of that? See, just a second. Um, nothing. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever get that? Would you ever uh, investigate your own mind? Is it something that you think you, you would benefit from? Have you ever done it? No, I, try, I tried to teach myself uh, uh, how to go under hypnosis just because um, I thought, you know, sometimes when you're acting, everything is, is, there's just so much going on. And whenever you do anything, the best is when you're the most relaxed. And I thought, maybe if I could just take myself under and get rid of all the distractions, it, it never worked. But I've, you know, I've kind of searched around how to do this, do this job, you know. Oh, you're not bad at it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I think you, you may work out. 
The movie, uh, the movie is Three Days to Kill. Kevin Costner, it uh, opens on Friday. It opens on Friday. Kevin Costner, everybody. Kevin Costner. <laughs> I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>